There are two sharp razor blades sticking out of the water park water slide. While young people are sliding down the slide one after another, a few beautiful women chose the slide with the blades. Their faces changed from excitement to horror, but it was too late. They were instantly dismantled by the huge impact. Blood red water and limbs gushed out from the slide. The crowd was so scared that they scattered in all directions, but unknowing people at the entrance to the slide continued to slide. Today is the first day of the water park's reopening. A group of graduates are holding a graduation celebration here. Twenty years ago, this was a popular attraction, but it fell into disuse after a murder. It's only with the influx of young people that the park has regained its popularity. But it's someone else's toy, not Paul's. As soon as Paul stepped out of the car, he was confronted by a schoolyard punk. Luckily, his classmate Kimberly saved him. Lost in thought, Paul bumped into Priscilla, just when he couldn't resist confessing his love to Priscilla. Her boyfriend Tommy arrived. Paul had to see them off. While people were having a good time, two boys jumped down the slide with a bottle of wine. Then an accident happened. The boy who went down the slide hit his head on the bottle, causing the pool to turn red with blood. An ambulance came immediately to take away the injured. The cleaner was recovering debris from the pool. He offered to drain the pool, but the boss refused. In the evening, Tommy passes by with Priscilla. Paul's friends send Tommy away. Then Paul and Priscilla kissed. It turns out Priscilla and Paul had a brief affair. They started chatting happily. Then they went to the locker room and made out like nobody's business. But it was all recorded on a cell phone. The boss was making out with a student. And his wife was dating an older man who turned out to be Paul's father. Soon the bonfire started. Paul was on stage as the lead singer. The boss's wife accompanies Paul's father to watch the show. The day's drama had dampened the spirits. Everyone was swaying to the music. Tommy caught up with Priscilla and asked her where she'd been. Priscilla gave her a random name, but then suddenly she got a video on her cell phone. Tommy immediately grabbed the phone and saw Priscilla and Paul making out in the bathroom. Angry Tommy immediately punched Tommy to the ground. A friend tried to help Paul but was knocked down in a second. Tommy then picked up Paul and tried to beat him up again. The people around him kept shouting and screaming. Luckily, the boss's wife intervened to stop the incident, and Priscilla was dragged away by Tommy. His friend helped Paul back to the hotel but met Paul's father. Apparently, the father and son were not on good terms, and they got into a row. The father said he'd come to see Paul perform, but Paul didn't believe him at all. Suddenly the father asked Paul if he liked it here. Paul didn't know what it meant. The next moment, his father said he was going to buy the place. It turns out that Paul is a rich kid. Feeling incomprehensible, Paul turned around and left. The father and son parted on bad terms. In the dead of night, a man sneaked up to the slide, then he cut the slide and inserted two razor sharp blades into it. Who could have done this? The next day, Paul's father was admiring his future paradise. Suddenly a man pointed a gun at him from behind. Apparently, it was someone he knew. Just when he thought he was joking, he fired a shot. Paul's father was so scared that he backed away. He tried to escape into the house, but found several bodies inside. There are two big razor blades sticking out of the water slide. A boss, who knows nothing about it, is organizing a water slide competition with $100, 000 in prize money. A group of young people sign up to participate. That's when Tommy, the janitor, notices the slide is leaking and picks up plastic debris on the ground. He realized something was wrong and rushed to stop the crowd from boarding the slide, but was ignored as a lunatic. In fact, the lifeguard had already noticed something was wrong. He found blood on the lawn under the slide but ignored it because he didn't want to jeopardize the business. By now, the boss has already started announcing the rules of the competition. There were three tubes, and the team that took the shortest time to slide down them would win. Kimberly chose the longest to bright away. The boss's wife warned him that the other one was shorter. But the rebellious Kimberly doesn't care. Just as the crowd was about to descend, Tommy stopped the crowd with some crumbs that he had picked up earlier. But everyone just thought he was being paranoid. The boss's wife even threatened to fire him. So it tells them about the murders from years ago. And today is the 35th anniversary of the water park murders. The crowd stopped paying attention to him. The boss's wife blew her whistle to start the race. Three teams of students slide down the tube. Which group will the blades be in? As everyone screamed in excitement, Kimberly's team suddenly looked horrified. So they're the lucky ones. The next thing you know, she's being dismantled by the blades. Two girls were instantly reduced to a pile of meat. The third girl escaped because of a block in front of her. By now, the first group has already slid down. As the group celebrates, Kimberly's group started to gush out bright red blood. People look at the blood and wonder what's going on. But in the next second, as the limbs and arms float down, people finally realize what was happening. The girls started screaming at the top of their lungs. The boys started to vomit. The lifeguard was so shocked, he fell and broke his foot. 
Paul rushes forward to see what's going on but can't move forward because of the current. A woman panics and calls the police, but when she accidentally falls into the water, she spills blood on the three girls next to her. At this point, the entrance to the slide has no idea what's going on. Tommy still tries to stop, but Phil pushes him down the slide. The slide he went down was the same slide that Kimberly's team went down. Soon Tommy saw the blades in the bodies. Realizing something was wrong, he braked, but he couldn't. As Tommy slams down, the girl in front of him quickly goes offline. The boss's wife starts asking questions about the situation on the ground, but there's no response to the chaos. The lifeguards started calling upstairs, but the walkie-talkie signal suddenly went out and the boss's wife couldn't hear it. The next group is about to be Ray. At that moment, a girl suddenly became scared and didn't want to slide. Little did she know that this decision saved her life. So the boss's wife proposes to go down with her husband. The boss is obviously reluctant, but he can't lose face in front of the beautiful girls. So he agrees. So the boss went down with the two beauties. The boss's wife was paired with Phil and the others. Tommy is still struggling to survive in the slide. And there were still people sliding down the stairs. And then he heard the girls laughing. But the next moment, the laughter turns to screaming. And Tommy was knocked out by the girls. And the boss got stuck halfway down the slide out of fear. There was blood coming out of the slide at the water park. It turns out that someone installed the razor blades inside the slide. And people are still scrambling down the slide. This is a newly open water park. Just in time for a group of high school students graduation celebration. And to attract the tourists, the boss has organized a lot of activities. A hot babe car wash and a big money slide contest. The students are signing up to participate. Tommy, the janitor was the first to notice the problem with the slides. He tried to stop the crowd, but was ignored as a lunatic. One by one, people slid down the meat grinder. Tommy, who kept trying to stop them, was pushed down the slide and lost his breath. People in the pool saw blood and limbs gushing out. They screamed. They vomited. They fainted. Paul quickly tried to save them, but he was unable to stand up because of the current. The lifeguards immediately contacted the upper floors to try to stop it, but they couldn't hear anything due to signal interference. At this time, the boss and the boss's wife also want to play a game. In order not to lose face in front of the beautiful women, the boss agreed to do it, but it got halfway down the slide and stopped. At that moment, Paul also climbed up the slide to try to save the others. When he sees the boss in the slide, he immediately tries to pull him up. Paul asked him to try to jump out, but he didn't dare. Eventually he let go of Paul's hand and turned into a puddle of blood and water. At that moment, the rest of the tube came down. They couldn't even cheer before they realized that the whole pool was blood red. A steady stream of severed limbs was still coming out of the slide. The girls were so scared, they ran for their lives. One of the girls runs into the warehouse, only to find a room full of corpses. Paul rushed upstairs to stop the others from sliding down. But the students, who were having too much fun, wouldn't listen. Then the man in the pink pants slid down the slide. Despite being stopped, the lifeguard came up to stop him, but saw a couple of students pushing Paul down the slide. And then the lifeguard was pushed down the slide. Luckily for Paul, the slide had no blades. But the lifeguard wasn't so lucky. In the end, Paul succeeded in inheriting his father's estate and fulfilled his father's wish to buy the water park from the boss's wife to build a shopping mall. He apologized to the boss's wife. The boss's wife choked up and comforted him, but inadvertently showed a smile. It turned out that the boss's wife had planned all this. Twenty years ago, a tragedy happened in this water park. Her father was encouraged by a friend to slide down the slide and broke his head. But no one was around to help. She screamed for help, but no one paid any attention. The lifeguards were too busy trying to get laid. In the end, her father died in front of her. The water park was shut down for more than 20 years because of the attention it received. And her father's friend was Paul's father. So the boss's wife tried to get close to the boss to become his wife. She approached Paul's father to bring him to the park under the guise of a buyout. In the end, she engineered the elimination of the boss and the lifeguards. But at the cost of many in his lives.